Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Sheree Whitfield has gone from prison by Tyrone to cheetah by Martell. Child, I used to think that Jennifer Williams, Kenya Moore, and Portia Williams couldn't pick a man, but damn it, Sheree, you take the cake. They're saying that Sheree is talking to Mr. Narcissist, aka serial cheater Martell Holt of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Sheree, if you want a new storyline and another peach, just say that, sis. Also, I want to talk about Marlo Hampton. Marlo was recently burglarized by four masked men who entered her home while she and her nephews lay there asleep. Child, they said that Marlo had a panic room and hid there until the police got there. You know sis got that money. Also, I want to talk about how Miss Kenya Moore decided to make this all about her, saying that Marlo put her and her cast mates in danger. We're going to talk about that and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. Now, Sheree Whitfield probably had one of the most embarrassing scenes in Housewives of Atlanta history when Tyrone stood her up in Philly and didn't show up to the restaurant, leaving Sheree in tears. Well, at this point, you probably think to yourself, Sheree, you wasted all of those years waiting on your prison bay, who was probably whispering sweet nothings in your ear, all to get dumped on national TV. Hey, sis, it can't do nothing but go up from here, right? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Sheree is now supposedly dating Martell Holt. Now, Martell is fine, don't get me wrong, but the looks don't match the person. The argumentative, I'm never wrong, point the finger at you and never at myself guy that we came to know on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Well, the two were spotted in Atlanta walking into a bathroom together and then coming out. I'm going to zoom in. I want you to take a look at this and then we'll be back for more. Is that Martell Holt and Sheree Whitfield? Oh, hell no. Look at him, trying to go into the same bathroom? That man ain't got no shame. Oh, what, what, are they trying to hug? Oh my goodness, I see you, Sheree, wagging that dog and that dog done hurt a whistle. You done caught you another one, huh? I guess you must be done with the convict. Girl, that's a lot of child support payments, but I see you, girl. You got you a boo, summertime boo. Yeah, oh, what a gentleman. He opened the door. Ooh, we. Where, where the kids' bikes at, Martell? And on top of all of that, Empress Radio here on YouTube, make sure to check her out. She pointed out that Sheree was recently spotted out with Chris Fletcher and his wife. Dr. Fletcher is the one who helped counsel Martell and Melody before their divorce. So it looks like Martell comes to visit Sheree in Atlanta, and Sheree goes to visit Martell in Huntsville. And then, if you recall on Watch What Happens Live, Sheree did mention that there was someone handling business, making sure she was satisfied at least sexually because I'm not sure if Martell can really satisfy her monetarily but take a listen to this and we'll be back for more when Sheree <laughs> talked about getting stood up by Tyrone Mama Joyce pointed a knife at her and said you got to block him forever and while you shouldn't gesture with sharp objects Mama Joyce's advice was on point uh I want to find out if Sheree took it to heart in throw us a tie bone so when was the last time you two were in contact it's it was a couple months months ago since I've been. Uh, I did a scene in uh, Philly. Yes, I've not heard from him. Um, well, no. Will we see him uh, in the finale? You no. Since, oh, say, since it's aired. Oh, okay. So oh, he was calling. Oh, you have not heard from him not heard since from him. that aired. No. Okay. Why did you two really decide to be celibate? Was the sex not good? It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, you are too beautiful for uh, that. No, and I realized one day I'm like. I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life just not satisfied. You know? yeah. Okay, and are you satisfied now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did he ever meet the kids, even virtually? He met Callie. No, he met them at the show. Oh, he that met them it. at the, when he when he came in the yeah. in the later episodes. Yes. Okay. Um, how do you feel being stood up in Philly affected you overall? <sighs> You know what, it, had, it made me reevaluate, like, what are you doing? Like, how can you let somebody treat you like that? Okay. And it kind of opened my eyes and, you know, I 
started getting back into me. Now the thing about it, Sheree did say that Tyrone was trash in bed and this new person is satisfying her. Maybe this new person is Martel. Martel is only three years older than Sheree's oldest daughter. So maybe Stella, I mean Sheree is getting her groove back. I don't see Martel changing any of his ways. I would hate for Sheree to be disappointed, but I guess we shall see how it all plays out. Now moving on to Marlo Hampton. Marlo, who was a new peach holder but not new to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, was recently targeted along with one of Future's baby mamas, Brittany Mealy, in a slew of burglaries that happened in the Sandy Springs area. Marlo's home was invaded by four masked men that kicked down her door. Marlo was at home with her two nephews and said that she knew something was wrong when she heard her nephew scream. Take a listen to this. This involves many crimes, an ongoing investigation, and high-profile victims. One of them, Marlo Hampton of Real Housewives of Atlanta fame, who told me she watched on her security system as armed, masked men kicked her door down, making a loud boom. And I heard the boom when I heard my nephew scream, and I knew that scream was a scream of fear. My heart dropped. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Marlo Hampton says she's a real crime victim. After the attempted burglary of her Sandy Springs home July 1st, the police have now told her is tied to other incidents. She said she went to a panic room, called 911. The suspects who kicked her door and fled, possibly because she yelled. Sandy Springs police were there quickly, and she thanks God. Just thank God that we're covered in the blood of Jesus, and I'm here to share this story with you. But my main concern is I want all the ladies, I want everyone to be aware. If you are posting items, if you do have luxury, items be careful don't you move a sandy springs police sergeant says police took down Stay four alleged though. members of the gang sunday morning my car broke down down the road sir i never did as they attempted a home invasion at a townhouse occupied by the mother of one of the children of the world-famous rapper Future. But it was a deep investigation into the gang's past that led Sandy Springs investigators to stake out her home knowing she might be a target. We got lucky and we got right. And as we targeted them, they came on scene. Sergeant Matt McGinnis says the four young men arrested are charged so far with crimes relating to what happened Sunday, but the gang which includes other members, is suspected in 15 home invasions or burglaries in Sandy Springs alone and others elsewhere in Metro Atlanta. Now, I'm happy that Marlo Hampton, her nephews, Brittany Mealy, and the other victims are all safe, and so is everyone else. But Miss Kenya Moore has decided to insert herself on a now-deleted Twitter post where she posted the news clip and said the following, happy no one was hurt, but she took the time to withhold information from the cast that could possibly help keep us safe, but was happy to release details and interviews. Hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta, hashtag fake. Now I know Kenya has fans that ride hard for her, but y'all know that if the tables were turned and someone broke into Kenya's house and scared Brooklyn and she had to act fast and nowhere to turn, she would have definitely been upset had Marlo said some insensitive stuff like that, had Marlo made this situation all about her. But Kenya is one of those do as I say and not as I do type of people. And Brittany Mealy got her together. She said, Kenya, ma'am, I'm not on TV. Don't know what y'all got going on for storylines or whatever, but this is very sad. You would attack Marlo Hampton like this. I'm a victim in the same area, and we were all instructed by the police to not tell anyone, including you, as they didn't want their investigation jeopardized in any way. However, from what I've seen, you were informed in your group text on July 5th where you hearted and liked it. This was very insensitive. I don't know about y'all, but Kenya to me just has this pick me syndrome. The fact that Britney said that Kenya was alerted about what happened on July 5th, and now Kenya's like, you didn't let us know and we're in danger. Child, they done burst into my house. My nephews are screaming, we have to go into a panic room. What are you talking about with you? And she didn't do anything but like it? Like, sis, what other information do you want me to give you? Did you check on Marlo afterwards? What's really good? And if you did, if you wanted to combat it, you could have went back and forth in your tweets, but you deleted the tweets, so something had to be true. Child, everything going on with these Real Housewives of Atlanta is just team to merch right now. It's team to merch. But what I want to do is hear from you. What do you think about Martel Holt and his possible relationship with Miss Sheree Whitfield? Do y'all feel it's a match made in muscle heaven? 
Y'all know they two muscle-bound individuals. Also, tell me what you think about Marlo's house almost being burglarized. Child, they done knocked the door down and sis had to go into the panic room. And what do you think about Kenya making this situation about her? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.